Hello guys, my name is Sorin and today I'm gonna show you how to remove and repair this door lock. As you can see, the passenger door lock is not working right. The interior light should turn on. The driver's door lock is ok, I've already fixed it. Now it's time for the passenger side. We start with the door handle. To disassemble it, you'll need a straight screwdriver. And for the two screws that holds it, a Phillips head screwdriver. Under the door panel you have two T20 torque screws. Now pull the door panel to remove it, it's hold in place with plastic clips, but be careful not to damage the wires for the window switch and tweeter. Remove the two rubber caps, connect the window switch and align the window regulator clips with the two holes. You need a 10mm socket wrench to loosen the bolts. Use some protective gloves when you remove the window. You need a T20 torque screwdriver to remove this knob. Now you can release the wire that opens the door. Push the two rubber gaskets inside the door. To remove the door lock module, you need this 8mm triple square tool. You can group the balls in little boxes in order, so at the end you won't mix them up. The door lock module is attached to this panel, so be careful when you remove them.
To unplug the connector, you need to pull back this plastic clip. It's easier if you use a straight screwdriver. Now it's a good time to clean the drain holes inside the door. When it's raining, the water can find its way inside the door around the window gasket. If the drain holes are clogged, the water can accumulate inside the door. Then it can spill inside the car. If you find water in your car's floor, that's the main reason. So remove the rubber gasket under the door and clean it. So, we've removed the door lock. In part 2 I'm gonna show you how to repair it. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.